Hey everyone, this is Craig with Slash Gear, and today we are taking a look at the Acer Aspire M Touch. Uh, it's one of the newer uh, Windows 8 touchscreen uh, laptops, and uh, we're going to take a quick look at it, um, show you the outside and uh, the software. Uh, first, um, give you a quick tour of what we got here. Um, as you can see, it's your typical uh, brushed aluminum laptop, uh, nothing too special going on. Um, on the left side, we have the DVD drive. Um, then on the front, we have the power button right here, which is a fairly odd location for most laptops. Um, status lights on the right side is the SD card slot and the combo uh, headphone microphone jack. And that's it uh, as far as the sides go. However, on the back is where most of this stuff is. Um, as you can see, the power port is on the back as well as two USB 3.0 ports, HDMI, and Ethernet, and then uh, the Kensington lock. So pretty much all your vital ports are on the back. Um, it's actually nice having the HDMI and the power port on the back. Uh, that way you don't have, you know, cables coming out from the sides. Uh, but as far as, you know, USB goes, um, it's kind of a pain in the butt if you need to plug in a flash drive or something. But other than that, uh, that is the outside of the uh, Aspire M Touch. Okay, so we have the laptop open and on. Um, you can see the keyboard and the trackpad and then the touchscreen display up here, which is really nice. Um, as far as the keyboard and trackpad go, nothing too special. Um, the trackpad is nice and large actually, which is really nice. Uh, however, it is made of plastic, so um, gliding your finger across um, and navigating that sort of stuff is not going to be as smooth as, say, a glass trackpad on a MacBook or the new uh, Chromebook Pixel. But it's really big, which uh, you don't see on many laptops. So that's nice. Um, it does have the the one click, um, and it does uh, multi touch or yeah, multi touch gestures, all that good stuff. The keyboard, uh, chiclet, um, your average layout. The keys actually don't have a lot of travel, so when you press down, um, as you can see, it's screwing with everything that I'm doing. Um, there's not a lot of travel to the keys, so um, typing it can be a little weird or take some time to get used to um, but actually the keyboard it it, uh, it feels fairly nice to type on um, not a lot of complaints except for uh, the key travel which is really not a huge deal and you get used to it after a couple weeks as far as software goes um, a lot of pre-installed apps um, a lot there's pretty much an entire page uh, for just pre-installed apps um, Acer Explorer, uh, Acer Cloud, um, Evernote, Kindle, eBay, Amazon, Netflix, uh, Skype, Hulu Plus. Most of these apps you'll actually probably use, um, but some of them, like 7Digital, iCookbook, StumbleUpon, um, ChaCha, you might not use those a lot. Uh, Britannica down here, I, uh, TuneIn Radio, um, but they don't really get in the way a lot, and you can just... Uh, uninstall them if you want. And as you can see, they had the pre-installed uh, software uh, on desktop mode. But overall, blower is really bad on this. But other than that, it's your typical uh, install of Windows 8. Nothing too special there. This laptop runs a Core i5 clocked at uh, 1.7 gigahertz. It has 4 gigs of RAM, um, Intel HD 4000 graphics. Um, so integrated graphics, so you're not going to be able to do a lot of gaming. Uh, definitely not any graphic intensive gaming. Um, you'll be able to play your casual games, um, obviously Solitaire. Um, it'll play Plants vs. Zombies, um, pretty much all those less uh, graphic intensive games. But mostly it's kind of your just your everyday average computer for the family, uh, checking email, browsing the web. Uh, but you can also watch movies on it. It'll play high-def uh, video on Netflix. 
But yeah, this, uh, but it also has a uh, 20 gig uh, solid state drive. So it'll boot up really quick, it'll open apps really quick. Um, but there's also a 500 gigabyte uh, regular hard drive inside uh, to store all of your uh, videos, movies, photos, music, all that good stuff. You can grab one of these laptops for about $800 um, on Amazon, Tiger Direct, Newegg, uh, wherever you can find it uh, cheapest. But it's about it's around $800, which isn't a bad price considering that most laptops like this can easily get into the $1,000 range. So overall, it's not meant for power users per se, but um, your everyday computer for the... Um, for the user that doesn't really uh, need a lot of power. Again, this is the Acer Aspire M Touch, and it is available now.